Expand your vocabulary with our Core 2000 Words eBook. Wow. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Wow. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Swahili eBook before it's gone. Welcome. Hello, everyone. It's Medina here again with Swahili Top Words. Are you a gift lover? Do you like receiving gifts or do you like giving gifts? Now, if that is you, this lesson is really for you. We're going to learn about 10 gift ideas you must know in Swahili. Welcome and let's have fun. Okay, words. Tarakilishi la paja. Tarakilishi la paja. Our first word is tarakilishi la paja. Laptop. Tarakilishi la paja. Paja is your lap. Laptop. Asante kwa kunipa tarakilishi la paja. Asante kwa kunipa tarakilishi la paja. Thank you for giving me a laptop. Really, I appreciate it. I was dreaming of laptops some years back. You know, technology is changing each, each, each and every day. And it is, it's really, I'm not really sure, but um, it was yesterday while I was thinking about how the world will be in, in 40 years to come. I don't know. Maybe there's some, there'll be something different from a laptop. Okay, now let's get back um, to where I was about laptop. You know, those days when I used to see people with laptops, I was like, oh, oh, I really wish I could have one. Thank you for giving me a laptop. Actually, I got one and <laughs> life has become normal again. I think I want more laptops. It never gets enough. I don't know what. Do you feel something like me? Kitabu. Kitabu. Book. Kitabu. Book. Ningependa kusoma kitabu cha hadithi. Ningependa kusoma kitabu cha hadithi. I would like to read a storybook. Kenyans love stories and storytelling. Even before books were invented, Kenyans told stories. And now they're telling stories in writings. We have very famous and popular writers in Kenya. I think of it. Among, of, among them include, uh, who is this? Gugi Wationgo. And one of his books that I like the most is Weep Not Child. Then there's Grace so Grace of God, and with the grace of God, you, you, you learn. I mean, she's gotten into the Kenyan culture, and you'll get to know much about the Kenyan culture through her books. The Promised Land is one of those favorite books that I love. There's Binyavanga Hainaina. The name is quite long, but you know what? He's a good writer. In fact, he's, he has a very unique writing that even impressed Oprah Winfrey, who took it as one of his book clubs to read books. Get to know the Kenyan cultures by checking out these writers and more of them. Ramani Yadunia. Ramani Yadunia. World map. Ramani Yadunia. World map. Kwa vile unasafiri dunia, shika hi Ramani Yadunia. Kwa vile unasafiri dunia, shika hi Ramani Yadunia. Since you're traveling around the world, have this world map. Would you like to have a world map as a gift? Which one would you like best? The postal one or the globe? Globe in Swahili is called Ardhi. Ardhi technically means earth because the world is earth. Swahili just took it to translate globe to earth. Ardhi. Camera, 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 camera he inatoa picha safi kabisa. Camera he inatoa picha safi kabisa. This camera produces clear pictures. Yeah, if you see me clearly then I just mean it. Simu ya smartphone. Simu ya smartphone. Smartphone. Simu ya smartphone. Smartphone. He simu ya smartphone haishi moto haraka. He simu ya smartphone haishi moto haraka. This smartphone 
does not finish charging quickly. Maybe it's time to get a gift as a smartphone. How so cool would that be? You know, before I got a smartphone, I dreamt. I know it was <laughs> one of those dreams that you want to come true. And honestly, when I got one, it was a dream come true. And I appreciate it up to now. It wasn't really a gift, but I really worked hard to get it <laughs> because I wanted it. Yes, it is It is very convenient, I would say. Smartphones are super convenient, especially in this world and age. I can use smartphone. In fact, when I was at school, I used to write my papers using my smartphone. Sounds strange, but it's true. Whenever I would be going to work, I could write my papers. Woo! Part-time jobbing. Yeah, with papers on the road. Woo! I'll write lots of papers. I'll do my research using my smartphone. I mean, the, it's like the world was with me right on my hands. And, you know, I could chat with my family. I could do, you know, you jungle through a number of things at the same time. And your world is just, everything is consolidated. That is very convenient. I appreciate it. It's a dream come true and it's a worthy dream. Worthy dream. It's a high time you get one as a gift. Yeah, I wish you luck. Come see. Come see. Dictionary. Come see. Dictionary. Come see mpia ni pesangapi. Come see mpia. Ni pesangapi. How much is a new dictionary? Do you think a dictionary is a good gift? Now you ask me, what kind of a dictionary? It could be book dictionary or electronic dictionary. But which one would you like most? Electronic dictionary or book dictionary? Or none at all? You know, I'm saying none at all because some people think dictionary, especially book dictionaries, are outdated. Why? Because they have their phones as an extra memory. <laughs> you just, you want to look for something like, you can say, I want to look for camera. Oh, you go to your phone, you type it, camera, and it comes with all those things. So someone like, oh, I don't need a dictionary. My phone already has a dictionary. I mean, really, for me, I still like, like dictionaries, and especially those paper ones, you know, they're all jet. Theoceras, the dictionary, the Oxford English Dictionary. I mean, they, those ones are still on my shelf and I, I'll value them forever. I, I think I, I really love them. I still use them up to now. And as much as I have a phone and a computer and Google as an extra, an extra gadget for my memory, you know? Usafiri wandege hadi Kenya. Usafiri wandege hadi Kenya. A flight to Kenya. Usafiri wandege hadi Kenya. A flight to Kenya. Nita kupea tiketi ya usafiri wandege hadi Kenya. Nita kupea tiketi ya usafiri wandege hadi Kenya. I will give you a flight ticket to Kenya. How awesome is that gift? Especially if you are abroad. Honestly, you want to go meet your friends. If the flight ticket is, is ranging to like... $1,500. I mean, that's a lot of money. And if someone gives you that as a gift, really, that is awesome. Don't you think so? Vocha ya ununuzi. Vocha ya ununuzi. Shopping voucher. Vocha ya ununuzi. Shopping voucher. Katika kampuni yetu, kila mtu alipea vocha ya ununuzi. Katika kampuni yetu, Kila mtu alipewa vocha ya ununuzi. In our company, everyone was given a shopping voucher. You could be one of those lucky ones to get a, a voucher, a shopping voucher from your company. Now, which one would you prefer to buy? Electronic stuff or fashion stuff? Or go, I mean, a shopping voucher will not take you for a picnic. <laughs> you can buy stuff to use for a picnic, right? It's you to choose. I wish you luck and enjoy, enjoy those vouchers in case you, you get them. Use them well. And if you have a friend, please try and get a gift for that friend, you know? Sayam Kono. Sayam Kono. Wristwatch. Sayam Kono. Wristwatch. Ile Sayam Kono ya blue ni maridadi sana. 
ile saa ya mkono ya blue ni maridadi sana. That wristwatch is very beautiful. But the wristwatches are quite good. They they short time and you don't have to go checking your phone every time like what time is it, you know? You just make it easier. You bring your hand here and you see you don't even have to bring it there. You just a little bit like that and you 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 see, you know, you see the time and you're acquainted with whatever is happening as far as time is concerned. Now, do you think it's necessary to have a wristwatch? Mkoba. Mkoba. Wallet. Mkoba. Wallet. Mkoba ni zawadi nzuri sana. Mkoba ni zawadi mzuri sana. A wallet is a good gift. Where is my wallet? You know, I love wallets myself, so whenever I think of buying something for, for someone, especially ladies, I give them wallets and I really go look for those pretty ones. And those ones that I know, you know, I know my friends, so I know I know their style. I know whatever thing they like putting in their wallets. You know, those lady lady gully thingy in the wallet? Yeah, in the wallet or in the handbag, whatever the thing is. But what I'm trying to say is that wallets are really good gifts and I don't know about you. Do you wish to have a wallet or just a handbag is enough? Or for men, what do you like? Let us know in the comment section. Want to speak real Swahili from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SwahiliPod101.com. Yes, it's Medina again. Welcome to SwahiliPod101. This is Topwords. Today, we're going to look at the top 25 verbs in Swahili. Welcome. Kua, to be. The first verb is kua, to be. Kua. For example, we can say, Ili kukua katibu mwema, inabidi ujue kuratibu. In order to be a good secretary, you have to be good at organizing. Kupenda, to like. Kupenda, to like. Kupenda. Bila shaka na kupenda, of course I like you. That's quite a handy word to use. Kufanya, to do. Kufanya, to do. Kufanya mazoezi kutakusaidia kupoteza uzido. Doing exercises will help you lose weight. Kusema to say. Kusema to say. Nilimfunza mtoto wangu kusema karibu anapoambiwa asante. Nilimfunza mtoto wangu kusema karibu anapoambiwa asante. I taught my toddler to say you're welcome when he's told thanks. Kueleza, to explain. Kueleza, to explain. We can say, Ubao meupe, ndilo chombo nzuri cha kueleza kitu cha picha. A whiteboard is a perfect means to explain something visually. Ubao meupe, ndilo chombo nzuri cha kueleza kitu cha picha. Kusikia, to hear. Kusikia, to hear. Kusikia. Kifaru anahisia ya hali ya juu ya kusikia na kunusa. Kifaru anahisia ya hali ya juu ya kusikia na kunusa. The rhino has a good sense of hearing and smelling. Kwenda to go. Kwenda to go. Kwenda. Nataka kwenda dukani. I want to go to the shop. Nataka kwenda dukani. Kujua to know. Kujua to know. Kujua. Pia mimi nafurahia kukujua. Me too. I'm happy to know you. Pia mimi nafurahia kukujua. Kuchukua to take. Kuchukua to take. Kuchukua. Usisahau kuchukua picha yangu tafadhali. Don't forget to take my picture. Usisahau kuchukua picha yangu tafadhali. Kuona to see. Kuona to see. Kuona. Kwa heri ya kuonana. Bye. See you again. Kwa heri ya kuonana. 
kuja to come kuja to come kuja ikiwezekana ningelipenda kuja kesho tena if possible i would like to come back tomorrow ikiwezekana ningelipenda kuja kesho tena kufikiria to think kufikiria to think kufikiria fikiria unachotaka unipe jibu kesho think about what you want and give me the answer by tomorrow fikiria unachotaka unipe jibu kesho kuangalia to look kuangalia to look kuangalia hangeweza kusita kuangalia kwenye sinema she couldn't stop looking at the screen hangeweza kusita kuangalia kwenye sinema kutaka to want kutaka to want ninataka kwenda kulala mapema leo i want to go to sleep early today ninataka kwenda kulala mapema leo kupea to give kupeana to give hawakupeana ya kutosha they didn't give enough hawakupeana ya kutosha kutumia to use kutumia to use ni line gani ninayopaswa kutumia which line am i supposed to use ni line gani ninayopaswa kutumia kutafuta to find kutafuta to find usipoteze wakati wako kutafuta kazi ya hali ya juu anza tu kufanya kazi don't waste time looking for the ultimate job just start working usipoteze wakati wako kutafuta kazi ya hali ya juu anza tu kufanya kazi kwenda nje to go out kwenda nje to go out kwa hakika tunahofia lakini hauwezi enda nje leo usiku we are really sorry but you cannot go out tonight kwa hakika tunahofia lakini hauwezi kwenda nje leo usiku kuuliza to ask kuuliza to ask nitakuuliza mara nyingine moja i will only ask you one more time nitakuuliza mara nyingine moja kufanya kazi to work kufanya kazi to work naomba unisaidie kufanya kazi hii i request that you help me do this work naomba unisaidie kufanya kazi hii kuingia to enter kuingia to enter hauwezi kuingia bila kibali you cannot enter without permission hauwezi kuingia bila kibali kuhisi to feel kuhisi to feel kuhisi na hisi vizuri i feel good na hisi vizuri kujaribu to try kujaribu to try kujaribu ningelipenda kuchagua kitu ambacho sijawahi kujaribu I would like to try something I've never tried before. Ningelipenda kuchagua kitu ambacho sijawahi kujaribu. Kuondoka to leave. Kuondoka to leave. Kuondoka. Watu huzoea kuondoka nyumbani na kwenda kazini wakati wa jua kupaa. People usually leave home for work at sunrise. Watu huzoea kuondoka nyumbani na kwenda kazini wakati wa jua kupaa kuita to call kuita to call kuita nitakuita papo nitapofika nyumbani i will call once i arrive home nitakuita papo nitapofika nyumbani
Thank you so much for staying with us until the end of this video. How was it? If you liked it, please, we'd like to hear your comments. And don't forget to visit SwahiliPod101.com for more lessons. See you then. Bye. Kwaheri. Yes, welcome again. This is Medina. Welcome to SwahiliPod101. Top words. Today, we are going to look at 10 hardest words to pronounce in Swahili. Badai, later. Badai, later. Badai. For example, you can say, Tuona ne badai. See you later. Tuona ne badai. Now, actually, I can understand why it's a little bit difficult word to pronounce because uh, looking back at my nephew, he was at that time around two or three years old. He had a very hard time saying badai. He used to say badea, badea, which is quite different. But now he made it up. He's okay. He says badai. Changia, to contribute. Changia, to contribute. Changia. Changia katika mikakati ya mambo maku. To contribute to a greater cause. Changia katika mikakati ya mambo maku. Hakuna matata, no worries. Hakuna matata, no worries. Hakuna matata. Hapa Kenya, hakuna matata. There are no worries here in Kenya. Actually, there's a song that goes, Kenya inchi yetu, hakuna matata. Nchi ya kupendeza, hakuna matata. That means that in our country, there are no worries. It's a lovable country. There are no worries. Yeah, hakuna matata is quite a handy word to use. Actually, it's in a song, so just learn the song and you get the word. If you're a fan of Lion King movie, I'm sure you've heard about this phrase. Kiangazi, hot season. Kiangazi, hot season. Kiangazi. Kuna kiangazi sana kaskazini mwanchi. The north part of the country is very dry. Kuna kiangazi sana kaskazini mwanchi. Kipupwe, cool season. Kipupwe, cool season. Kipupwe. Watu hupata homa wakati wa kipupwe. People catch flu during the cool season. Watu hupata homa wakati wakipupwe. Mchungwa, orange tree. Mchungwa, orange tree. Mchungwa. Nimelala hapa chini ya mti wa mchungwa. I am lying here under an orange tree. Nimelala hapa chini ya mti wa mchungwa. Ngangana to strive. Ngangana to strive. Ngangana. Nangangana kuwa wa kwanza. I'm striving to be the first one. Ngangana. Can you try saying it out? Ngangana. Do you realize that you stick your tongue at the back upper part of your mouth and then the voice comes through your nose? Ngangana. Hope you did it. Ngombe, cow. Ngombe, cow. Ngombe. Hawa ni ngombe wawili. Hawa ni ngombe wawili. These are two cows. Ngombe is similar like ngang, ngana. I mean, the way you stick the tongue behind and to the top of your mouth. But now you're using the O sound. You're trying to make the O sound. Try it again. Ngo, ngo, ngombe. Hope you made it. Taka, taka, trash. Taka, taka, trash. Taka, taka. Kutupa, taka, taka. To empty the trash. Kutupa, taka, taka. Now, taka taka can be used in different ways. For example, if someone says taka taka, it will mean something really bad or wasteful or something that is annoying. 
If someone says, wewe ni takataka, it means you're wasteful or you're a waste. So you can use it different ways. But you know what? Don't use it to your friend or someone. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it's not a good word to use, in other words. So be careful when you use it. Nyanyasa, oppress. Nyanyasa, oppress. Nyanyasa. Matajiri wana nyanyasa maskini. The rich oppress the poor. Matajiri wana nyanyasa maskini. Thank you so much for staying with us until the end of this video. Was it a long way to learn the top hardest word to pronounce in Swahili? Did you get it right to say ngangana and ngombe? If you did, and if you liked our videos, we'd like to hear your comments in the comment section. And please, don't forget to visit our website, swahilipod101.com, for more lessons. You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. Kwa kusini, mwajiji. You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the eighth row in seat C. Safulanane Kiticha. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running? There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Sikukuza uma, jumapili ya tatu ya kila mwezi. You are at a bus stop where you're waiting for the 301 bus. There is a notice posted on the bus timetable. What does the notice say? What does the notice say?
The notice reads, the 301 bus does not stop here. Basi nambari mia tatu na moja hali simami hapa. You just got off a bus at a bus terminal and you're looking to catch a taxi. Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? You should head east to get to the taxi rank. Mashariki. Yes, welcome to Swahili Pod 101. Again, it's Medina with you. Now, today we are going to do something really special. We are going to talk about 10 words you never want to hear. No, don't say this on my ears. You know, something like that. Do you have that experience? Now, follow me and let's have fun. J, umeongeza uzito hivi karibuni? J, umeongeza uzito hivi karibuni? Have you gained weight recently? Actually, in Kenya, adding weight is not really a big issue because people think the bigger you are in mass, <laughs> the wealthier you are, or the richer you are. So there's nothing really bad about adding weight when you compare it with other countries like probably Japan or the States, where you may get hard when someone talks about your weight. So feel free in Kenya. The only problem comes in when you're really cutting weight. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the opposite. If you're really cutting weight, yeah, people will be asking you, oh, what's happening, you know? What, what's happening? Don't you have food? Or are you stressed? So there are those kind of cultural differences. Una nyuele ya rangi jivu. Una nyuele ya rangi jivu. You have gray hair. You know, you know, people have a difficult time accepting the fact that they are growing old. Yet it's a paradox of life, right? You're celebrating your birthday, but at the same time, you're growing old. Now, when you're growing old, it, it reaches a point when you're growing gray hair, right? And it's, it's evident. You cannot hide it unless you're coloring your hair. Now, in, in Kenya, really, you don't want to tell someone that they're growing gray hair. You better say it with your friends about somebody. But, you know, that will be gossiping. So I don't really recommend it. But uh, usually, you see the gray hair and keep it inside your heart. You appreciate the fact that, yeah, someone is growing, and you keep it at that. Nilikweleza hivyo. Nilikweleza hivyo. I told you so. Actually, when you say it naturally, it comes out in a kind of arrogant way. Let's try it in Swahili. Nilikweleza hivyo. I told you so, you know? This is someone who kind of warned you beforehand that, uh, do not go that way, then unfortunately, I mean, at that time it's not really unfortunate, but you know, you did it and then there are those kind of consequences or circumstances, I mean, things that happen that are not really good. Then you come back and you know, your friend who warned you says on your face, I told you so. You don't want to hear that at that moment, especially when things have gone bad, you know? Umefutwa kazi. Ume Futwa kazi. You're fired. You know, this phrase, when someone is firing you, sometimes they say it in a polite way, right? Umefutwa kazi. Not to make you feel like, okay, oh, the world is ending. But there are those ones who come literally and say, Umefutwa kazi. You know what I mean? Like, you're fired. Like, literally. It's like, fire is coming on its way right there and then, and you feel like hell is burning loose. But, but you know what? It's, it's one phrase that we do not really want to hear, and neither do we want to tell. Imagine someone is fired. I mean, I have friends who have been fired, and they will never want to tell. You'll just see by yourself. You'll not see them get, getting out of the house, and you're like, oh, what happened? You don't even want to go ask, you know? You're afraid. So you ask the neighbors. You hear from the neighbors that, oh, 
amefutwa kazi, which is kind of very sad. It's not a phrase that you want to hear. Not from your good friend either, right? Sio wewe ni mimi. Sio wewe ni mimi. It's not you. It's me. You know, this is one of the common phrases we hear when people are breaking up. Usually someone says this to take responsibility of the situation, like the breaking up. It sounds like polite, but it's like a cliche nowadays and it's not a fun word to say. Sio wewe ni mimi. Hope you never meet this word. <laughs> I wish you luck. Asante kwa wasifu wako. Hata hivyo, nafasi hiyo ishachukuliwa. Asante kwa wasifu wako. Hata hivyo, nafasi hiyo ishachukuliwa. Thank you for your resume. However, the position has been failed. Okay, let us imagine you are your looking for a job like yes seriously and uh, and honestly this is seriously in kenya because we have a pool of undergraduates who are looking for jobs every day you know you actually advertise for one position like this and you find like more than 1000 applicants you're like okay okay well, how 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 should i prove myself to be smart and you know it's not like you've applied for one job you've applied for quite a number of jobs and this is the same message they send you. It's quite frustrating. You don't want to hear it. Anyway, if you're someone looking for a job, I am praying for you. Do not give up though. Keep going, keep fighting. That's what we were meant for. Tuwaone watu wengine. Tuwaone watu wengine. We shall see other people. Now, this is a sad phrase in itself. Already, like, it's an explanation in itself. Someone is breaking up with you and with that arrogance, like, oh, let's go see other people, you know? It's like he already has many other options. <laughs> Probably you're just one of them and you're like, oh, he's giving up on you to try the other options. It's quite sad though, right? It's quite sad. And like previously, I hope this never comes your way. But the bright side is, you may end up getting someone who will treat you better than the person who has left you. So never give up hope. Sina pesa yako leo. Sina pesa yako leo. I don't have your money today. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm laughing, but it, it's quite serious. And it's quite a common phrase I hear quite from a lot of my friends. You know, when you're, borrowing, when you're lending money, you should lend the amount you know you're willing to lose. <laughs> That's what my mother tells me every time. Because, yeah, you lend this money and you go asking for it and the person says, I don't have your money today. And, you know, you go back tomorrow and it's another today. So those today sometimes never come to an end. So whenever you're lending money, just be careful. Be careful how much you're lending and to who. Once beaten, twice shy. So if you're lending money to the same person who says that I don't have my, your money today, huh, you, you have to think again. I wish you luck in this. In a password to onge. In a password to onge. We need to talk. For me, for me, this is one of the phrases that are for real. I, I never want to hear. And when, I, when it gets into my ears, I'm like, oh, this trouble. I get so tensed up. I get so uncomfortable. And I just want to get out of it. I want to ask the person, okay, let's do it now so that we end it right now. I don't know about you. Please tell us your feelings at the comment sections later. We'd like to hear what you say. Nataka siku za kupumzika toka kazini. Nataka siku za kupumzika kutoka kazini. I want days off. Now, this is one of the words you don't want to hear when it's busy in the office. <laughs> you know, it makes you imagine like, oh, why, are you, why do you want days off when it's actually peak time, you know? We have so many clients coming in, then you want days off. Are you running away from work? You know, I think you, you may relate to this if you're in a busy I mean, work area. You're a manager or something like that, you know? It's one word you never want to hear. Yes, we have come to the end of 10 phrases you never want to hear. Yes, I totally agree. Some of these ones, 
seriously, I never want to hear. If I know it's coming, I literally run away. Yes, like I'm, I'm avoiding that person, you know? You know what I mean? You can relate to me and we would like to hear from you. Please write your comments down there and give us more examples of some of the phrases you never want to hear. And please do not forget to subscribe and visit our website, swahilipod101.com. See you, Kwaheri! You have a gray hair. Oh, when you're growing old kind of thingy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> when I think of it. Samahani Nilisa Hao. Yeah, this is a teacher. This is a student to a teacher. <laughs> I don't know which other places this will apply. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is funny. You know, it makes me remember yeah. things that I've never thought about. Okay. Welcome again, it's Medina on Swahili Top Words. Today we're gonna look at something that may be fun, I would say, not for everyone though, but we're gonna have fun in this lesson. 10 phrases for surviving back to school. Let us psych up our attitude and let's get going. Mfuko, mfuko, backpack. Mfuko, backpack. Huo, Ni mfuko wangu. Huo ni mfuko wangu. That is my backpack. Yes. I'm ready to go to school. That is my backpack. Mwenzangu darasani. Mwenzangu darasani. Classmate. Mwenzangu darasani. Classmate. Juma Ni mwenzangu darasani. Juma ni mwenzangu darasani. Juma is my classmate. Did I have Juma as a classmate? Not really, but uh, I had many classmates. I can't remember, but I have good memories of all of you. The fun guys, the fun ladies. I miss all of you. And my dedication for this lesson to you, my classmates. Kazia Ziada. Kazi ya ziada. Homework. Kazi ya ziada. Homework. Nafanya kazi ya ziada sasa. Nafanya kazi ya ziada sasa. I am doing my homework now. Ask me why. I am late. I'm running late. The deadline is in an hour's time and I have a lot to do. I am hurrying and... <sighs> So nervous. Anyone identifies with my experience? You should get things going early. Mtihani. Mtihani. Exam. Mtihani. Exam. Tunafanya mtihani wiki ijayo. Tunafanya mtihani wiki ijayo. We are sitting for exams next week. Oh, time is running. Time is running. I feel like I haven't done enough for that exam. Only if they could suspend it. I'll be so happy. But you know what? I can't help it. But I got to read. I got to read. Oh. Majira ya likizo. Majira ya likizo. Summer break. Majira ya likizo. Summer break. Majira ya likizo nitapumzika kutoka kwa masomo. Majira ya likizo nitapumzika kutoka kwa masomo. During summer break, I will take a rest from studies. Anyone as happy as I am? Yeah, and summer break is even longer. What are you going to do? I am so happy. But you know what? Don't forget to get a book and read, even it's a novel or something like that. You know, studies never end. But I know relaxing is the point there. Relax and take advantage of it. Shule, shule, school. Shule, school. Shule yetu inaitwa Braiban. Shule yetu inaitwa Braiban. Our school is called Braiban. Kind of fancy name, right? 
Tell me the name of your school. We want to hear it. Some of our school names are in our mother tongues. I would like to hear those especially. Bryban is an international school in Nairobi and it stretches to other neighboring countries like Tanzania. It offers British or international curriculum. You can feel comfortable to visit Bryban. And if you want to relocate to Kenya, <laughs> why not think about joining Bryban or something? I mean, it's a really cool school. Really cool. You can try it and go for a walk. Yeah, you can try an open campus actually and, and just to, to, to figure out how the school is. I wish you luck. Soma. Soma. To study. Soma. To study. Tunasoma masomo nane kwa siku. Tunasoma masomo nane. Nane kwa siku. We study eight lessons per day. Eight lessons per day. Yeah, I know. I have those experiences. But now, I only have four lessons. And sometimes, I am free. I enjoy my world here. Persevere. Soon, you'll come on my side. Ni siku ya kwanza ya darasa. Ni siku ya kwanza ya darasa. It's the first day of school. Nisiku ya kwanza ya darasa. It's the first day of class. Nisiku ya kwanza ya darasa. Nisiku ya kwanza ya darasa. It's the first day of class. How do you feel on your first day of class? Are you excited to go see your friends, meet your teachers, get in that class? Hmm, the first day of class for me, do I even remember the feeling? Yeah, usually I'm kind of nervous because I'm like, oh, those homeworks are coming back again. No more rest for like three months or so. But I'm always excited to listen to my teachers and their insights and to have fun with my friends. Tuko katika darasa moja. Tuko katika darasa moja. We are in the same class. Tuko katika darasa moja. We are in the same class. How does it feel to meet your long-time friend after so many years in the same class? Perhaps you had not met for some years and then in the university on your first year, you come and you meet each other. I can't imagine the excitement, but for me, I'll be so, so excited. You'll notice that in this sentence, there's an interjection mark. Tuko katika darasa moja. Right, it, it's, it's a surprise. Perhaps meeting someone after a long time, you know? So it comes with that kind of excitement, the interjections, like a surprise thingy. Actually, I think, I think in this sentence, we tend to express our emotions. So towards the end, you kind of raise your voice a little bit. Tuko katika darasa moja. You know, there's some kind of an emphasis towards the end, just to show the surprise. J, unachukua madarasa gani? J, unachukua madarasa gani? What classes are you taking? J, unachukua madarasa gani? What classes are you taking? I know sometimes it could be tricky to know what classes you want to take, especially when you're new to these things, you know? <laughs> but uh, I remember my my favorite class was of philosophy and psychology. I just liked the insights and the way our teachers would analyze facts. I don't know whether they were facts, but theories, you know, getting all these things together. It was really fun. What is your favorite subject? Please write to us on your comments. We'd we'll love to hear what you say. Thank you for listening. That's the end of our lesson today. I hope you got some facts or ideas on how to survive back to school. And we'd like to hear from you on how you survive back at school or how you're surviving back at school. Please write them down there on our comments section. And do not forget to subscribe. Please visit our website, swahilipod101.com for more lessons and exciting, more fun lessons. Thank you so much. See you. Bye. Habari yako? Mzuri sana. Uko mzima? 
niko mzima kabisa asante habari ya asubuhi mzuri mwenzangu lakini nilikuona wapi kwa majina naitwa Fatuma Ali nami naitwa Mohamed Joroge niko na furaha kukujua nimefurahia pia nimetumwa na rafiki yako nije nikuone haya basi nikusaidiaje Asante sana kwa kuja kuniona hospitalini. Karibu sana. Nilivyosikia umejifungua mapacha, niliamua lazima nije. Ah, nashukuru. Nimekuletea zawadi. Zingine za hawa watoto na zingine zako. Asante sana mwenzangu. Nashukuru. Tafadhali, naomba ujue umenikanyaga. Oh, mimi Ndiyo, kwa vidole za mguu. Pole sana. Habari yako? Mzuri sana. Mna chakula ama kinywaji kilicho tayari? Ndiyo. Nikupakulie nini? Je, mna chai ya maziwa? La, lakini tunayo kahawa ya maziwa. Sawa. Nitakuita baadaye. Nipe muda kidogo. Sawa. Yeah, welcome everyone. It's Medina again. Welcome to Swahili Pod 101. Today we are going to look at the top 25 phrases in Swahili. Let's have fun. Jambo. Hello. Okay, the first phrase is jambo. Hello. Jambo. Jambo is one of the most Simple greetings in Kenya. Anyone can use it at any time. In fact, we love using it with tourists. Please visit Kenya and just say jambo. Habari za asubuhi. Good morning. Okay, the next phrase is habari za asubuhi. Good morning. Habari za asubuhi. We often wake up tired sometimes in the morning, but it doesn't cost to say habari za asubuhi. Good morning. Habari za mchana. Good afternoon. The next phrase is habari za mchana. Good afternoon. Habari za mchana. You know, in the afternoon when you meet someone you like, oh, habari za mchana. Habari means news. So you're trying to ask someone, okay, how is your afternoon? Tell me anything that is happening in your afternoon. Usiku mwema. Good night. Usiku mwema. Good night. Usiku Mwema. Good night. Yes, it's time to sleep. I th sometimes look forward to that time and you know I I I look forward to saying good night to my friends or to my family or to my whatever person who is there. Jina lako nani? What's your name? Jina lako nani? What's your name? Jina lako nani? It's an obvious question whenever we meet with people, especially when you want to know who they are. It's polite to know someone's name. Right? Do you like being called by your name? Yeah, that's why this phrase is very important. Jina lako nani? Mimi naitwa I'm Mimi naitwa Medina. My name is Medina. Mimi naitwa Medina. Now, this is actually an answer to the previous question, Jina lako nani? What's your name? Now, you have to keep this in mind that, you know, If you use this word frequently, you'll be able to tell people about your name. You'll be able to tell people your name. Nina furaha kukutana na wewe. Nice to meet you. Nina furaha kukutana na wewe. Nice to meet you. Nina furaha kukutana na wewe. Nice to meet you. I mean, it's really polite. I always feel like energized when someone says nice to meet you. <laughs> it can be awkward when someone says, "Oh, I do not want to meet you," you know. <laughs> But we rarely hear that. Just use that word. Nice to meet you. Habari gani? How are you? Habari gani? How are you? Habari in Swahili means news, and gani means what? So what news? Actually, what you're trying to ask here is like, what what do you have? I mean, what is all about your life right now? In a polite way, you know. Then someone will say. Mzuri or it's okay they will not go on telling you whatever is happening all around but you know they'll just say it's fine or not good 
you know? So it's an important phrase. Niko salama, asante, na wewe? I am fine, thanks. And you? Niko salama, asante. Fine, thanks. And you? Niko salama, asante means, oh, I'm fine. Literally, that is what it means. I'm fine, thank you. Then you, you take it back. What about you? You are concerned about the person who is asking you, you know? If you just say, oh, I'm fine, thanks, then you keep quiet, you know? I mean, we do some, that sometimes, but you know, sometimes you want to show concern, so you ask, na wewe, and you? Tafadhali, please. Tafadhali, please. It's a magic word all around the world. So tafadhali is one of those words that you want to embrace when you visit Kenya. Tafadhali, whenever you're asking a favor, just say tafadhali. Excuse me, tafadhali, tafadhali. That's one great word you need to remember. Asante, thank you. Asante, thank you. It's also one of the magic words that relates to tafadhali, please. You know, asante is like you're appreciating whatever favor you received from someone who did you a favor. So it's also one of those words you, you like to embrace whenever and wherever. Karibu, you're welcome. Karibu, you're welcome. Karibu. Karibu is one of the most common words used in Kenya. For example, when someone knocks your door, you'll say, oh, karibu. That means come in or welcome, actually. Then in some circumstance where someone gives you something, you'll say thank you, right? Now, the person who is giving you will say karibu. Karibu means welcome. So <laughs> it can be a joke. But you know what? You can go and ask them. Oh, you can go and ask as many favors as, as you can, because they said karibu. I mean, that's a joke. <laughs> you don't have to take it seriously, though. <laughs> Dio. Yes. Dio. Yes. Dio. Dio is a response. Whenever someone asks a question, you can say Dio if it's a positive answer, I mean, to the question. I mean, it, it depends. You know, there are the yes, no questions. Yeah, that is where it lies. Dio. Umefika Kenya? Dio. Umekula chakula? Dio. Umefika Kenya means, have you arrived in Kenya? You'll say yes, which is Dio. Have you eaten food? Umekula chakula? You'll say Dio. Yes. Hapana. No. Hapana. No. Hapana. Hapana is an answer to the yes, no question. Just like Dio. Dio means yes, as we looked at it previously. Now here it's no. Umefika Kenya? Hapana. Have you arrived in Kenya? No. Umekula chakula? Have you eaten food? No. Hapana. Sawa. Okay. Sawa. Okay. Sawa. Okay. Sawa. Sawa is used to acknowledge that you agree to whatever has been said. For example, you can say, Sawa, nimelewa maelezo yako. Okay, I've understood the explanation. Niwie radhi, excuse me. Niwie radhi, excuse me. Niwie radhi. This is a very handy word, especially when you want someone to excuse you for something. Niwie radhi. Naweza angalia mzigo wako? Excuse me, can I check your bag? Samahani. I am sorry. Samahani. I am sorry. Samahani. Samahani is also one of those polite words that you really need to remember. It comes handy when you make a mistake. Samahani, nimechelewa. I'm very sorry that I'm late. Nisangapi. What time is it? Nisangapi. What time is it? Nisangapi. Of course, you'll want to know time. If you cannot see see the time, probably there's no wall clock around, or perhaps your phone is off the check, or perhaps you forgot your wristwatch. You'll ask your friend, Nisangapi? Msala niwapi? Where is the restroom? Msalani niwapi? Where is the restroom? Msalani niwapi? Now, for real, you may need this word really, especially if nature keeps calling on you, you know? You may want to ask, hey, tafadali, msalani niwapi? Excuse me, where is the restroom? Subiri kidogo. Wait a moment. Subiri kidogo. Wait a moment. 
subiri kidogo. When you're caught up doing something and someone asks for a favor, you may use this word. Just a moment. Subiri kidogo. Beyahini nini. How much is this? Beyahini nini. How much is this? Beyahini nini. How much is this? Beyahi nini. Now, he there stands for the thing that you want to buy. For example, you can say, Beyahi nguo nini. How much is this dress? Saidia, help. Saidia, help. Saidia. Saidia! Imagine you're drowning. What will you do? You'll shout, Saidia! Help! When you're in trouble, I mean, this word comes in handy. I think you may want to use it. Tuonane badai. See you later. Tuonane badai. See you later. Tuonane badai. After you meet with your friend, you have a chat with how him, you'll definitely say, Bye! See you later when you're padding. I think it's also in one of those polite words that you may want to add to your list. Kwaheri, goodbye. Kwaheri, goodbye. Kwaheri, goodbye. Kwaheri. Now, Kwaheri reminds me of those toughest moments in my life. You know, when I went abroad to study and my family was back um, in my country, the toughest moments was when we were parting, you know? I will never want to say kwaheri. I will never want to say goodbye. I will never even want to utter it out, but I will just say it with tears rolling down my, my cheeks. Yeah, kwaheri. It's a good word to use whenever you're parting. Sijui, I don't know. Sijui, I don't know. Sijui. This is a word that you'll, you, you'll use when you acknowledge that for sure, you're not sure about the answer to the question or to the situation that is happening at the moment. Some people think it's impolite to say sijui, especially when you're asking for directions. They'll try to give you information which might be wrong to show that they are polite. So you got to be careful. Thank you so much for staying with us until the end of this video. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, do not forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to visit swahilipod101.com. Kwaheri, see you again. Want to speak real Swahili from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at swahilipod101.com. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to test your language level? In this video, we'll test your listening skills. We'll go over four levels of difficulty so you can figure out what your real level is. And if you want to improve your language listening comprehension skills, just click the link in the description to access the best audio and video library of online content. Let's go. Level one, absolute beginner. Mwanamke na mwanamume wanatazama picha. Ni picha gani wanalotazama? Hili ni picha ya timu ya kandanda alimu mwanao. Sivyo? Mwanao ni yupi? Huyu. Ala, ni huyu mrefu. Ndiyo, hata ni mrefu kunishinda. Mvulana anasoma kutoka kwa shajara lake. Nini cha kwanza licho kifanya mvulana huyu leo? Hali ya anga ilikuwa mzuri sana leo. Nilienda kuogelea alasiri hii katika bwao la kuogelea. Pia nilienda kwenye sinema jioni na nilisoma asubuhi mzima. Leo haikuwa siku mbaya. Mwanamme anapiga simu kwa afisi ya daktari. Anapaswa awe kwa afisi ya daktari saa ngapi? I say Nikusaidieje? Unafunga saa ngapi leo? Tunafunga saa kumi na mbili lakini ufike kabla ya saa kumi na moja unusu tafadhali. Sawa, asante. Mwanamume na mwanamke wanatazama orodha ya chakula hotelini. 
Mwanamme ataagiza nini? Utaagiza nini? Pizza linaonekana tamu. Nadhani nitaliagiza. Nilikula pizza jana kwa hivyo. Sawa. Hamburger je. Chaguo bora. Nitakiagiza. Mwanamke anamuuliza muuzaji jambo katika duka la vitabu. Mwanamke huyu anataka kukitazama kitabu gani? Samahani, ningelipenda kutazama kitabu katika rafu ile ya vitabu. Ni kitabu kipi unachokitaka? Kile cha magari. Ngoja kidogo tafadhali. Hiki Ndiyo. Hiki hapa. Level 2. Beginner. Mwanamme na mwanamke wanaongea kuhusu mtindo wa kadi ya kampuni ya biashara. Waliamua mtindo upi? Tuna mitindo mipya ya kadi ya biashara ya kampuni. Unadhania gani ni bora? Na tuone. Nadhani ni vyema jina la kampuni liwe kubwa. Hivyo basi inapaswa iwe hii. Sawa sawa. Napenda hii kwa vile jina la kampuni ni kubwa na liko juu. Moja ya hizi ina nafasi ya picha. Unaionaje? Hmm. Nadhani linafanya maandishi yawe madogo. Ndivyo. Maandishi yanaweza kuwa ngumu kusoma kukiwa na picha. Vyema. Basi na tuendelee na hiari ya kwanza. Unasikiza utabiri wa hali ya anga. Utabiri wa hali ya anga uko vipi? Tutakuwa na jua asubuhi. Lakini kutakuwa na mawingu wa dhuhuri na kutanyesha usiku. Mvua utaendelea usiku kucha hadi kesho asubuhi wakati jua utakapoanza kuchomoka. Mwanamume anaongea na bibi yake katika simu. Anaenda kununua nini? Eti naelekea nyumbani sasa. Sawa. Unaweza kununua kitu kwa njia yako nyumbani? Ndivyo. Ungelipenda ni nunue nini? Tunahitaji maziwa na mkate ya kiamsha kinywa ya kesho. Maziwa na mkate nimezipata. Paketi ngapi za maziwa? Moja itatosha. Sawa. Jambo lingine lolote? Sekunde. Wacha niangalie kama tunasiagi. Ndio, tunao. Ndivyo. Tuna pombe yote iliyobaki. Ndiyo, tunachupa kidogo hapa. Vyema, hatuhitaji kununua yeyote sasa hivi. Sawa sawa, nadhania tuko sawa. Asante. Mwanamume na mwanamke wanaongea kuhusu printer katika afisi. Printer mzee uko wapi? Tuweke wapi printer mpya? Hmm. Nadhani tupaweke palipo printer mzee. Lakini ule mzee bado unafanya kazi. Tutaendelea kutumia. Sawa. Hivyo basi hatuwezi kuweka ule mpya hapo. Ni mbaya sana. Ingekuwa vyema kuwa na printer mpya katika rafu ya vitabu iliyo karibu na mlango. Lakini kuna nafasi ya printer moja pekee. Sawa, nadhani tuweke katika sehemu ile nyingine ya nyumba. Sawa, unaonaje ikiwa karibu na dirisha? Ni suluhisho nzuri pia. Mwanamume anatafuta zawadi ya siku ya kuzaliwa ya bibie katika duka la shaufu. Atanunua dani gani? Naweza kukusaidia? Natafuta zawadi ya siku ya kuzaliwa ya bibi yangu. Unasifia gani? Nam, 
Unaonaje dani hili hapa? Hmm. Linafanana ndefu kidogo. Na hivi hapa kuna moja na shamili la ua na moja lina roho. Natafuta kitu kilichosifika. Dani hili la lulu ni bei ngapi? Ni shilingi elf mia tatu. Hmm. Hilo ni bei gali sana. Nitachukua cha kwanza. Sawa, hapa upo. Level 3. Intermediate. Mwanamke anapima nguo huko akiongea na karani. Atanunua nguo gani? Inafanana vyema kwako na inakutosha vizuri sana. Naelewa. Inanitosha. Lakini mimi huvaa rangi dhahiri. Sijazoea mtindo huu. Hata hivyo, nadhani unafanana vizuri. Kweli? Itanichukua ujasiri ili niweze kuvaa hivi. Unaonaje rinda hii? Mtindo wake ni nyamavu, hivyo basi haitaangaza vile. Uko sawa. Wacha nijaribu hiyo. Endelea. Unadhania nini kulihusu? Hili ni sawa kwangu kuliko ya kwanza. Una mtindo huu wa mikono mirefu? Ndio tunao. Asante. Nitanunua hiyo. Mwanafunzi wa kiume na kike wanatazama matangazo ya kazi. Mwanafunzi wa kike ataandikisha kazi ipi? Hebu, unadhania nini kuhusu kazi hii? Ujira wa saa moja ni juu sana. Ndivyo, ujira unaonekana mzuri sana, lakini waweza kupeleka magazeti sehemu tofauti? Bila shaka. Mimi ni study kwa kuendesha baiskeli, lakini ninahofia kuamka mapema. Na hii je, ujira sio kubwa vile, lakini unaweza kufanya kazi kwa masiku mbili au tatu kwa wiki na kuanza kufanya kazi jioni. Ala, hi, mchukuzi pesa katika supermarket sivyo? Itakuwa nzuri kufanya kazi baada ya shule. Hii katika duka la kahawa linaweza kuwa nzuri pia. Ndivyo, napapenda. Na iko kwenye barabara ya kwenda shuleni. Si mbaya sivyo? Hmm. Niandikishe ipi? Ipi iko katikati. Duka la kahawa au ya kupeleka magazeti sehemu tofauti. Hmm. Ujira wa kazi ya gazeti ni nzuri sana. Sawa. Nimebadilisha wamuzi wangu. Itanibidi niamke mapema. Mwanamke anaongea na mtengenezaji nywele wake. Angelipenda kutengeneza nywele yake vipi? Hello. Naweza kukusaidia? Hello. Nina hifadhi ya birichie saa tisa ya mchana. Karibu birichi. Njoo huku. Naweza kukusaidia vipi leo? Ningelipenda kubadilisha mtindo wa nywele yangu kidogo. Sawa, ungependa urefu gani? Urefu wa hadi kwenye bega. Sawa. Je, na nywele ya mbele ya uso? Ziwache. Wima chini au uwe na nafasi katika upande? Sehemu ya upande kidogo. Pande ipi? pengine na kushoto kidogo kutoka katikati. Naelewa. Tutaanza na shampoo, hivyo basi njoo huku. Mwanamke anaandaa nafasi kwenye hoteli. Anaenda kuishi katika chumba gani? Hoteli ya pande ya kisiwa ya ni Seaside. Naweza kukusaidiaje? Ningelipenda kuishi usiku mmoja katika mwezi wa Septemba tarehe 22. Sawa. Usiku mmoja kutoka mwezi wa Septemba 22. Watu wangapi? Wawili. Ungelipenda chumba cha kuvuta au sio cha kuvuta sigara? Sio cha kuvuta. 
Chumba kisicho cha kuvuta siku hiyo ni kwenye sehemu ya kutazama mlima. Ni sawa kwako? Vema, nilikuwa natarajia kupata sehemu ya kutizama kisiwa. Niwie radhi, lakini chumba kilichobaki sehemu hiyo ni ya kuvuta sigara. Naelewa. Kunayo chumba kisicho cha kuvuta sigara sehemu hii katika mwezi Septemba 23. Ndio, kunayo. Sawa. Tutaishi kuanzia tarehe 23. Mume na mkeo wanatazama rasimu ya sakafu. Wanaenda kuona nyumba ipi? Na hili je, lina sebule nzuri na kubwa. Hmm, napenda sebule kubwa, lakini pia nataka nafasi ya kuegesha gari. Na tuone. Na hili je. Ndio. Hilo ni nzuri. Tuwaweza kwenda kuiona. Ngoja kidogo. Kabati lake si ni ndogo sana. Jambo njema. Hmm. Panaonekana hamna lile lililo timilifu. Ngoja. Na hili je. Lina kila tunalohitaji, sivyo? Na kabati lake pia ni kubwa mno. Twende tukalitazame. Sawa. Level 4. Advanced. Mwanamme na mwanamke wanaongea kuhusu kujiandaa kwa utuba watakayokuwa nayo kesho katika ofisi yao. Baada ya maongezi haya, mwanamke atachunguza nini? Sawa. Nadhani tuko karibu tayari kufanya hotuba kesho. Vitu chache tu vya kuzingatia. Mkutano utaanza saa tatu kamili. Kwa hivyo, waweza kukagua chumba cha mkutano tena leo? Vyema. Nimekagua chumba hicho. Vizuri sana. Je, ulihakikisha kuwa projector inafanya kazi vizuri? Oh. Nilitarajia kukagua projector kesho asubuhi nikiwa na kompyuta yangu. La. Ni lazima tukalikague leo. Hatutakuwa na nafasi ya kurekebisha ikiwa itakuwa na shida. Kwa hivyo, hakikisha umelikagua leo. Hilo ndilo jambo muhimu sana. Sawa. Nitafanya. Na ulishachapisha nakala kadhaa? Bitanaka anazichapisha sasa hivi. Na tutazame nini tena? Oh, ulikagua ubao? Ndivyo, nilikagua. Wakati mwingine, kalamu hazina wino wa kutosha kuandika. Ulipata nafasi ya kuzikagua? Bado, lakini nitahakikisha nimefanya hivyo baadaye. Vyema. Tafadhali hakikisha umefanya hivyo leo. Mwanamke anapiga simu kuhifadhi tiketi ya tamthilia. Alipata viti gani mbili? Hello. Hili ni chumba cha michezo cha Black Friars. Naweza kukusaidia? Ningalipenda kupata tiketi mbili ya King Lear saa moja unusu jioni wa leo. Je, bado una viti zinazoweza kupatikana? Tuna nafasi chache zilizobaki. Samahani, lakini hatuna viti vinavyofuatana. Hata hivyo, ukipenda tunaweza kupa viti mbili tofauti. Sawa, hatujali. Je, una jambo lingine la kuuliza? Je, una viti vyovyote vya njia? Ndio. Tuna kiti karibu na njia katika upande wa kushoto sehemu ya katikati. Na kulia kwake, baada ya viti tatu, kuna kiti kingine wazi. Katika sehemu ya upande? Sawa. Hivyo basi nipe hicho kiti. Hakika. Je, na kile kingine? Una kiti karibu na sehemu ya kati? Viti vilivyobaki ni kutoka mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tatu. Sijali sana kuhusu kutemewa mate na waigizaji. Kwa hivyo, chumba hiki ni kidogo. Nadhani utaweza penda tamthilia hii hata ukiwa mwisho wa mstari wa upande. Kweli. Kwa hivyo, nitachukua kile ulichotaja mbeleni katika sehemu ya kushoto.
Mwanamke anaongea na mwanamme anayefanyia kazi kampuni ya nje ya kuchapisha kuhusu kipeperushi ya bidhaa mpya. Siku ya mwisho ya utungo wa kwanza wa rasimu ya kipeperushi ni lini? Tumeamua kuzindua bidhaa mpya katika mwezi wa Oktoba 15 na tungelipenda kukupa mkataba wa kutengeneza vipeperushi hivyo. Asante sana. Tuna furaha sana kukusaidia katika mradi huu. Unaweza kutueleza kwa ufupi kuhusu ratba? Unatarajia kupokea kila kitu lini? Sawa. Ukizingatia wakati unaochukua kuchapisha, tungelipenda kufikisha vipeperushi hivyo katika kituo cha uchapishaji kabla ya mwisho wa mwezi wa Septemba. Kwa hivyo, inawezekana utupe rasimu ya kwanza ukifikia katikati ya mwezi wa Agosti? Hata hivyo, Tungelipenda kukupa aina tatu ya rasimu ya nakala ya kwanza kisha uchague lile litakalokupendeza kulingana na mradi wako. Kisha tutatengeneza rasimu ya mwisho kulingana na uamuzi wako. Hivyo basi itakuwa vyema ukiweza kutupa wiki mbili zaidi ya kujiandaa katika hatua hii. Hmm, sawa. Pengine mwezi mmoja utatosha kuchagua mmoja wapo wa rasimu utakazotengeneza na kuamulia rasimu ya mwisho. Vyema, tutakutegemea. Uko katika mikono mizuri. Timu yetu ya rasimu ndio bora zaidi. Asante sana. Mwanamume anajiunga na klabu ya michezo na kupata maelezo kuhusu sera zake. Ni aina gani ya wanachama atakayochagua? Wacha nianze kwa kueleza aina tofauti ya wanachama wa klabu yetu ilivyofafanuliwa katika kiji karatasi hii. Wanachama wa kawaida wanaweza kutumia pumziko na bwawa la kuogelea wakati wowote katika siku yoyote ya wiki. Lakini pia tunapeana wanachama wa asubuhi mapema ambapo watu wanaweza kutumia vifaa asubuhi peke yake na wanachama wa usiku kwa wale wanaotaka kuja usiku pekee. Masaa ya wanachama wa asubuhi mapema ni saa yapi? Wanachama wa asubuhi mapema wanaweza tumia vifaa kuanzia saa 12 asubuhi hadi saa 4 asubuhi na wanachama wa usiku wanaweza kuzitumia kuanzia saa 12 jioni hadi saa 5 usiku. Naelewa kwa hivyo wanachama wa asubuhi wanaweza simama hapa na kutumia vifaa hivi wakielekea kazini. Ndivyo. Wanachama wa asubuhi unasifika sana kwa watu wanaofanya kazi kuanzia saa tatu asubuhi hadi saa moja jioni. Ningelipenda kutumia pumziko na bwawa la kuogelea. Nadhani nitatumia pumziko katika masaa ya asubuhi kabla ya kwenda kazini, katika masiku ya kawaida na nitumie bwawa la kuogelea wikendi. Je, una chama unaokubali masaa ya asubuhi katika siku ya kawaida lakini siku nzima ya wikendi? Samahani bwana, lakini hatupeani wanachama kama huo. Sawa, sidhani nitaweza kuamka mapema katika wikendi. Kwa hivyo, nitachukua wanachama huu. Mwanamume anaripoti katika mkutano kuhusu nyendo za mauzo ya kampuni yake. Anatumia chati gani kati ya hizi mbili katika hotuba yake? Tafadhali tazama kijikaratasi. Chati ya kushoto inaonesha mauzo ya kampuni yetu katika miaka tatu iliyopita na utabiri wa mauzo katika mwaka huu. Chati ya kulia inaonesha mauzo katika miezi hadi mwezi wa Oktoba wa mwaka huu. Sasa tafadhali tazama chati ya kushoto. Inaonyesha vile mazao ilikuwa ikiongezeka kwa utaratibu katika miaka tatu iliyopita. Tukiweza kupandisha mauzo yetu, mauzo kwa jumla ya mwaka huu utaonyesha kuongezeka kutoka mwaka jana. Aidha tazama chati ya pili inaonesha kuwa kampeni tulizofanya Aprili na Agosti zilikuwa za manufaa. Naelewa, lakini mauzo yalipungua Mei na Septemba tukifuatilia makampeni. 
Ndiyo. Lakini matukio kama haya hayawezi kuepukika. Natarajia mauzo ya kila mwaka katika mwaka huu kupanda ukilinganishwa na mwaka jana ijapokuwa tutazidi kuongeza mauzo yetu. How was it? Now you can check your answers. Level 1. Absolute beginner. Answer. Ni picha gani wanalotazama? Mwanamke na mwanamume wanatazama picha. Ni picha gani wanalotazama? Hili ni picha ya timu ya kandanda alimu mwanao. Sivyo? Mwanao ni yupi? Huyu. Ala? Ni huyu mrefu. Ndiyo, hata ni mrefu kunishinda. Nini cha kwanza alichokifanya mvulana huyu leo? Mvulana anasoma kutoka kwa shajara lake. Nini cha kwanza alichokifanya mvulana huyu leo? Hali ya anga ilikuwa mzuri sana leo. Nilienda kuogelea alasiri hii katika bwao la kuogelea. Pia nilienda kwenye sinema jioni na nilisoma asubuhi mzima. Leo haikuwa siku mbaya. Anapaswa awe kwa afisi ya daktari sangapi? Mwanamume anapiga simu kwa afisi ya daktari. Anapaswa awe kwa afisi ya daktari sangapi? I say, nikusaidieje? Unafunga saa ngapi leo? Tunafunga saa mbili lakini Ufike kabla ya saa moja unusu tafadhali. Sawa, asante. Mwanamume ataagiza nini? Mwanamume na mwanamke wanatazama orodha ya chakula hotelini. Mwanamume ataagiza nini? Utaagiza nini? Pizza linaonekana tamu. Nadhani nitaliagiza. Nilikula pizza jana kwa hivyo. Sawa. Hamba gaje. Chaguo bora. Nitakiagiza. Mwanamke huyu anataka kukitazama kitabu gani? Mwanamke anamuuliza muuzaji jambo katika duka la vitabu. Mwanamke huyu anataka kukitazama kitabu gani? Samahani, ningelipenda kutazama kitabu katika rafu ile ya vitabu. Ni kitabu kipi unachokitaka? Kile cha magari. Ngoja kidogo tafadhali. Hiki? Ndiyo. Hiki hapa. Level 2. Beginner. Answer. Waliamua mtindo upi? Mwanamume na mwanamke wanaongea kuhusu mtindo wa kadi ya kampuni ya biashara. Waliamua mtindo upi? Tuna mitindo mipya ya kadi ya biashara ya kampuni. Unadhania gani ni bora? Na tuone. Nadhani ni vyema jina la kampuni liwe kubwa. Hivyo basi inapaswa iwe hii. Sawa sawa. Napenda hii kwa vile jina la kampuni ni kubwa na liko juu. Moja ya hizi ina nafasi ya picha. Unaionaje? Hmm. Nadhani linafanya maandishi yawe madogo. Ndivyo. Maandishi yanaweza kuwa ngumu kusoma kukiwa na picha. Vyema. Basi na tuendelee na hiari ya kwanza. Utabiri wa hali ya anga uko vipi? Unasikiza utabiri wa hali ya anga? 
Utabiri wa hali ya anga uko vipi? Tutakuwa na jua asubuhi, lakini kutakuwa na mawingu wa dhuhuri na kutanyesha usiku. Mvua utaendelea usiku kucha hadi kesho asubuhi wakati jua utakapoanza kuchomoka. Anaenda kununua nini? Mwanamume anaongea na bibi yake katika simu. Anaenda kununua nini? Eti naelekea nyumbani sasa. Sawa. Unaweza kununua kitu kwa njia yako nyumbani? Ndivyo. Ungelipenda ninunue nini? Tunahitaji maziwa na mkate ya kiamsha kinywa ya kesho. Maziwa na mkate nimezipata. Paketi ngapi za maziwa? Moja itatosha. Sawa. Jambo lingine lolote? Sekunde. Wacha niangalie kama tunasiagi. Ndio, tunao. Ndivyo, tuna pombe yoyote iliyobaki. Ndio. Tunachupa kidogo hapa. Vyema. Hatuhitaji kununua yeyote sasa hivi. Sawa sawa. Nadhania tuko sawa. Asante. Printer mzee uko wapi? Mwanamume na mwanamke wanaongea kuhusu printer katika afisi. Printer mzee uko wapi? Tuweke wapi printer mpya? Hmm. Nadhani tupaweke palipo printer mzee. Lakini ule mzee bado unafanya kazi. Tutaendelea kutumia. Sawa. Hivyo basi hatuwezi kuweka ule mpya hapo. Ni mbaya sana. Ingekuwa vyema kuwa na printer mpya katika rafu ya vitabu iliyo karibu na mlango. Lakini kuna nafasi ya printer moja pekee. Sawa. Nadhani tuweke katika sehemu ile nyingine ya nyumba. Sawa. Unaonaje ikiwa karibu na dirisha? Ni suluhisho nzuri pia. Atanunua dani gani? Mwanamume anatafuta zawadi ya siku ya kuzaliwa ya bibie katika duka la shaufu. Atanunua dani gani? Naweza kukusaidia? Natafuta zawadi ya siku ya kuzaliwa ya bibi yangu. Unasifia gani? Nam, unaonaje dani hili hapa? Hmm. Linafanana ndefu kidogo. Na hivi hapa kuna moja na shamili la ua na moja lina roho. Natafuta kitu kilichosifika. Dani hili la lulu ni bei ngapi? Ni shilingi tatu. Hmm. Hilo ni bei gali sana. Nitachukua cha kwanza. Sawa, hapa upo. Level 3. Intermediate. Answer. Atanunua nguo gani? Mwanamke anapima nguo huku akiongea na karani. Atanunua nguo gani? Inafanana vyema kwako na inakutosha vizuri sana. Naelewa. Inanitosha. Lakini mimi huvaa rangi dhahiri. Sijazoea mtindo huu. Hata hivyo, nadhani unafanana vizuri. Kweli? Itanichukua ujasiri ili niweze kuvaa hivi. Unaonaje rinda hii? Mtindo wake ni nyamavu, hivyo basi haitaangaza vile. Uko sawa. Wacha nijaribu hiyo. Endelea. Unadhania nini kulihusu? Hili ni sawa kwangu kuliko ya kwanza. Una mtindo huu wa mikono mirefu? Ndio tunao. Asante. Nitanunua hiyo.
Mwanafunzi wa kike ataandikisha kazi ipi? Mwanafunzi wa kiume na kike wanatazama matangazo ya kazi. Mwanafunzi wa kike ataandikisha kazi ipi? Hebu, unadhania nini kuhusu kazi hii? Ujira wa saa moja ni juu sana. Ndivyo, ujira unaonekana mzuri sana, lakini waweza kupeleka magazeti sehemu tofauti? Bila shaka. Mimi ni study kwa kuendesha baiskeli. Lakini ninahofia kuamka mapema. Na hii je, ujira sio kubwa vile, lakini unaweza kufanya kazi kwa masiku mbili au tatu kwa wiki na kuanza kufanya kazi jioni. Ala, hi. Mchukuzi pesa katika supermarketi, sivyo? Itakuwa nzuri kufanya kazi baada ya shule. Hii katika duka la kahawa linaweza kuwa nzuri pia. Ndivyo, napapenda. Na iko kwenye barabara ya kwenda shuleni. Si mbaya, sivyo? Hmm. Niandikishe ipi? Ipi iko katikati. Duka la kahawa au ya kupeleka magazeti sehemu tofauti. Hmm. Ujira wa kazi ya gazeti ni nzuri sana. Sawa. Nimebadilisha uamuzi wangu. Itanibidi niamke mapema. Angelipenda kutengeneza nywele yake vipi? Mwanamke anaongea na mtengenezaji nywele wake. Angelipenda kutengeneza nywele yake vipi? Hello. Naweza kukusaidia? Hello. Nina hifadhi ya birichie saa tisa ya mchana. Karibu birichi. Njoo huku. Naweza kukusaidia vipi leo? Ningelipenda kubadilisha mtindo wa nywele yangu kidogo. Sawa, ungependa urefu gani? Urefu wa hadi kwenye bega. Sawa. Je na nywele ya mbele ya uso? Ziwache. Wima chini au uwe na nafasi katika upande? Sehemu ya upande kidogo. Pande ipi? Pengine kushoto kidogo kutoka katikati. Naelewa. Tutaanza na shampoo, hivyo basi njo huku. Anaenda kuishi katika chumba gani? Mwanamke anaandaa nafasi kwenye hoteli. Anaenda kuishi katika chumba gani? Hoteli ya pande ya kisiwa ya ni Seaside. Naweza kukusaidiaje? Ningelipenda kuishi usiku mmoja katika mwezi wa Septemba tarehe 22. Sawa. Usiku mmoja kutoka mwezi wa Septemba 22. Watu wangapi? Wawili. Ungelipenda chumba cha kuvuta au sio cha kuvuta sigara? Sio cha kuvuta. Chumba kisicho cha kuvuta siku hiyo ni kwenye sehemu ya kutazama mlima. Ni sawa kwako? Vema, nilikuwa natarajia kupata sehemu ya kutizama kisiwa. Ni wie radhi, lakini chumba kilichobaki sehemu hiyo ni ya kuvuta sigara. Naelewa. Kunayo chumba kisicho cha kuvuta sigara sehemu hii katika mwezi Septemba 23. Ndio, kunayo. Sawa, tutaishi kuanzia tarehe 23. Wanaenda kuona nyumba ipi? Mume na mkewe wanatazama rasimu ya sakafu. Wanaenda kuona nyumba ipi? Na hili je, lina sebule nzuri na kubwa. Hmm, napenda sebule kubwa, lakini pia nataka nafasi ya kuegesha gari. Na tuone. Na hili je? Ndio. Hilo ni nzuri. Tuweza kwenda kuiona? Ngoja kidogo. Kabati lake si ndogo sana. Jambo njema. Hmm. 
panaonekana hamna lile lililotimilifu ngoja na hili je lina kila tunalohitaji sivyo na kabati lake pia ni kubwa mno twende tukalitazame sawa level 4 advanced answer baada ya maongezi haya mwanamke atachunguza nini Mwanamme na mwanamke wanaongea kuhusu kujiandaa kwa utuba watakayokuwa nayo kesho katika ofisi yao. Baada ya maongezi haya, mwanamke atachunguza nini? Sawa. Nadhani tuko karibu tayari kufanya hotuba kesho. Vitu chache tu vya kuzingatia. Mkutano utaanza saa tatu kamili. Kwa hivyo, waweza kukagua chumba cha mkutano tena leo. Vyema. Nimekagua chumba hicho. Vizuri sana. Je, ulihakikisha kuwa projector inafanya kazi vizuri? Oh. Nilitarajia kukagua projector kesho asubuhi nikiwa na kompyuta yangu. La. Ni lazima tukalikague leo. Hatutakuwa na nafasi ya kurekebisha ikiwa itakuwa na shida. Kwa hivyo, hakikisha umelikagua leo. Hilo ndilo jambo muhimu sana. Sawa. Nitafanya. Na ulishachapisha nakala kadhaa? Bitanaka anazichapisha sasa hivi. Na tutazame nini tena? Oh, ulikagua ubao? Ndivyo, nilikagua. Wakati mwingine, kalamu hazina wino wa kutosha kuandika. Ulipata nafasi ya kuzikagua? Bado, lakini nitahakikisha nimefanya hivyo baadaye. Vyema. Tafadhali hakikisha umefanya hivyo leo. Alipata viti gani mbili? Mwanamke anapiga simu kuhifadhi tiketi ya tamthilia. Alipata viti gani mbili? Hello. Hili ni chumba cha michezo cha Black Friars. Naweza kukusaidia? Ningalipenda kupata tiketi mbili ya King Lear saa moja unusu jioni wa leo. Je, bado una viti zinazoweza kupatikana? Tuna nafasi chache zilizobaki. Samahani, lakini hatuna viti vinavyofuatana. Hata hivyo, ukipenda tunaweza kupa viti mbili tofauti. Sawa, hatujali. Je, una jambo lingine la kuuliza? Je, una viti vyovyote vya njia? Ndio. Tuna kiti karibu na njia katika upande wa kushoto sehemu ya katikati. Na kulia kwake baada ya viti tatu kuna kiti kingine wazi. Katika sehemu ya upande? Sawa. Hivyo basi nipe hicho kiti. Hakika. Je, na kile kingine? Una kiti karibu na sehemu ya kati? Viti vilivyobaki ni kutoka mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tatu. Sijali sana kuhusu kutemewa mate na waigizaji. Kwa hivyo, chumba hiki ni kidogo. Nadhani utaweza penda tamthilia hii hata ukiwa mwisho wa mstari wa upande. Kweli. Kwa hivyo, nitachukua kile ulichotaja mbeleni katika sehemu ya kushoto. Siku ya mwisho ya utungo wa kwanza wa rasimu ya kipeperushi ni lini? Mwanamke anaongea na mwanamme anayefanyia kazi kampuni ya nje ya kuchapisha kuhusu kipeperushi ya bidhaa mpya. Siku ya mwisho ya utungo wa kwanza wa rasimu ya kipeperushi ni lini? Tumeamua kuzindua bidhaa mpya katika mwezi wa Oktoba 15 na tungelipenda kukupa mkataba wa kutengeneza vipeperushi hivyo. Asante sana. Tuna furaha sana kukusaidia katika mradi huu. Unaweza kutueleza kwa ufupi kuhusu ratba? Unatarajia kupokea kila kitu lini? Sawa. Ukizingatia wakati naochukua kuchapisha, tungelipenda kufikisha vipeperushi hivyo katika kituo cha uchapishaji kabla ya mwisho wa mwezi wa Septemba. Kwa hivyo, 
inawezekana utupe rasimu ya kwanza ukifikia katikati ya mwezi wa Agosti? Hata hivyo, tungelipenda kukupa aina tatu ya rasimu ya nakala ya kwanza kisha uchague lile litakalokupendeza kulingana na mradi wako. Kisha tutatengeneza rasimu ya mwisho kulingana na uamuzi wako. Hivyo basi itakuwa vyema ukiweza kutupa wiki mbili zaidi ya kujiandaa katika hatua hii. Hmm, sawa. Pengine mwezi mmoja utatosha kuchagua mmoja wapo wa rasimu utakazotengeneza na kuamulia rasimu ya mwisho. Vyema, tutakutegemea. Uko katika mikono mizuri. Timu yetu ya rasimu ndio bora zaidi. Asante sana. Ni aina gani ya wanachama atakayochagua? Mwanamume anajiunga na klabu ya michezo na kupata maelezo kuhusu sera zake. Ni aina gani ya wanachama atakayochagua? Wacha nianze kwa kueleza aina tofauti ya wanachama wa klabu yetu ilivyofafanuliwa katika kiji karatasi hii. Wanachama wa kawaida wanaweza kutumia pumziko na bwawa la kuogelea wakati wowote katika siku yoyote ya wiki. Lakini pia tunapeana wanachama wa asubuhi mapema ambapo watu wanaweza kutumia vifaa asubuhi peke yake na wanachama wa usiku kwa wale wanaotaka kuja usiku pekee. Masaa ya wanachama wa asubuhi mapema ni saa yapi? Wanachama wa asubuhi mapema wanaweza tumia vifaa kuanzia saa 12 asubuhi hadi saa 4 asubuhi na wanachama wa usiku wanaweza kuzitumia kuanzia saa 12 jioni hadi saa 5 usiku. Naelewa kwa hivyo wanachama wa asubuhi wanaweza simama hapa na kutumia vifaa hivi wakielekea kazini. Ndivyo. Wanachama wa asubuhi unasifika sana kwa watu wanaofanya kazi kuanzia saa tatu asubuhi hadi saa moja jioni. Ningelipenda kutumia pumziko na bwawa la kuogelea. Nadhani nitatumia pumziko katika masaa ya asubuhi kabla ya kwenda kazini, katika masiku ya kawaida na nitumie bwawa la kuogelea wikendi. Je, una chama unaokubali masaa ya asubuhi katika siku ya kawaida lakini siku nzima ya wikendi? Samahani bwana, lakini hatupeani wanachama kama huo. Sawa, sidhani nitaweza kuamka mapema katika wikendi. Kwa hivyo, nitachukua wanachama huu. Anatumia chati gani kati ya hizi mbili katika hotuba yake? Mwanamume anaripoti katika mkutano kuhusu nyendo za mauzo ya kampuni yake. Anatumia chati gani kati ya hizi mbili katika hotuba yake? Tafadhali tazama kijikaratasi. Chati ya kushoto inaonesha mauzo ya kampuni yetu katika miaka tatu iliyopita na utabiri wa mauzo katika mwaka huu. Chati ya kulia inaonesha mauzo katika miezi hadi mwezi wa Oktoba wa mwaka huu. Sasa tafadhali tazama chati ya kushoto. Inaonyesha vile mazao ilikuwa ikiongezeka kwa utaratibu katika miaka tatu iliyopita. Tukiweza kupandisha mauzo yetu Mauzo kwa jumla ya mwaka huu utaonyesha kuongezeka kutoka mwaka jana. Aidha tazama chati ya pili. Inaonesha kuwa kampeni tulizofanya Aprili na Agosti zilikuwa za manufaa. Naelewa, lakini mauzo yalipungua Mei na Septemba tukifuatilia makampeni. Ndio. Lakini matukio kama haya hayawezi kuepukika. Natarajia mauzo ya kila mwaka katika mwaka huu kupanda ukilinganishwa na mwaka jana ijapokuwa tutazidi kuongeza mauzo yetu. How is your language level? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you want to be able to understand the language, just click the link in the description and access the best library of online content to help you improve your skills. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. 
sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. I'm sorry. Samahani. Samahani. Thank you. Asante. Asante. Don't worry. Usiwe na wasiwasi. Usiwe na wasiwasi. It's okay. Sawa. Sawa. Really? Kweli. Kweli. Nice to meet you. Nina furaha kukutana nawe. Nina furaha kukutana nawe. What time is it? Jeni sangapi. Jeni sangapi. Please? Tafadhali. Tafadhali. Please forgive me. Naomba msamaha. Naomba msamaha. I really appreciate it. Nashkuru sana. Nashkuru sana. I don't understand. Sielewi. Sielewi. It's difficult. Nimgumu. Nimgumu. Make yourself at home. Hisi uko nyumbani. Hisi uko nyumbani. Hello. Jambo. Jambo. Good morning. Habari za asubuhi. Habari za asubuhi. Good afternoon. Habari za mchana. Habari za mchana. Good evening. Habari za jioni. Habari za jioni. Good night. Lala salama. Lala salama. Sorry to keep you waiting. Samahani kwa kungoja. Samahani kwa kungoja. How are you? Uhaligani. Uhaligani. How have you been? Umeshindaje. Umeshindaje. I'm good. Mi mzima. Mi mzima. This is for you. Hili ni lako. Hili ni lako. You're welcome. Karibu. Karibu. What's your phone number? Nambari yako ya simu ni... Nambari yako ya simu ni... How old are you? Una miaka ngapi? Una miaka ngapi? Where are you from? Ulizaliwa wapi? Ulizaliwa wapi? Where do you live? Unaishi wapi? 
unaishi wapi? What is it? Ninini. Ninini. Awesome. La haula. La haula. Delicious. Nitamu. Nitamu. I like it. Naipenda. Naipenda. I don't like it. Sipendi. Sipendi. Help. Nisaidie. Nisaidie. Are you all right? Figo. Figo. Long time no see. Siku nyingi sija kuona. Siku nyingi sija kuona. Once again, please. Rudia tafadhali. Rudia tafadhali. Slower, please. Pole pole tafadhali. Pole pole tafadhali. Ready to start? Tayari kwanza. Tayari kwanza. Can you come back later? Je, waweza rudi baadaye? Je, waweza rudi baadaye? Sorry, we're completely booked. Samahani, tuna miadi tayari. Samahani, tuna miadi tayari. We'll give you a call. Tutakupigia simu. Tutakupigia simu. I'll leave it up to you. Nitakuachia. Nitakuachia. Is the water too cold? Je, maji ni baridi sana. Je, maji ni baridi sana. Is this your first time with us? Ni wakati wako wa kwanza kuwa na sisi. Ni wakati wako wa kwanza kuwa na sisi. It takes three to five business days. Inachukua masiku tatu hadi tano ya biashara. Inachukua masiku tatu hadi tano ya biashara. Could I have a statement, please? Waweza nipa tarifa tafadhali? Waweza nipa tarifa tafadhali? I'd like to exchange money. Ningelipenda kugeuza pesa. Ningelipenda kugeuza pesa. I'd like to make a withdrawal. Ningelipenda kutoa pesa. Ningelipenda kutoa pesa. I'd like to make a deposit. Ningelipenda kustakabadhi pesa. Ningelipenda kustakabadhi pesa. Sign here, please. Tia sahihi hapa hivi. Tia sahihi hapa hivi. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.